News coming in at the top of the star. U.S. reacts uh, on India-U.S. ties over Kilpanoon plot. U.S. is glad that India is proving case seriously. What accused to be held accountable? U.S. says won't go ahead of a probe that is incomplete. White House has said that India is a strategic partner for the United States of America. Strategic partner. We're deepening that strategic partnership. Um, uh, they're a member of the Quad in the Pacific. Um, uh, and uh, we participate with them uh, on a range, uh, particularly of security-related uh, issues. And we, ex we want to see that continue unabated. Um, that said, at the same time, we certainly recognize the seriousness of these allegations. And as I said earlier, we want it fully investigated and those uh, responsible to be held, held properly accountable. My colleague Geeta Mohan, our foreign affairs editor, is joining me with the phone line this morning. Geeta, good morning to you. Of course, the U.S. says uh, that India is a strategic partner for the U.S. and they're glad that India is probing its inputs very seriously. But what is your sense of uh, the relationship after what U.S. Uh, has shared with India? Well, uh, the fact that uh, U.S. and India are... Uh, are uh, uh, reacting very responsibly and maturely uh, to the to the reports that have come out, the news reports, the fact that there is uh, an unsealed indictment uh, that now is out in the open, and uh, they're saying that they want do, they don't want to go ahead uh, of an investigation that isn't complete and is ongoing, uh, and respect the fact that and recognize the fact that India has uh, has formed a high level inquiry committee. So they're waiting for those investigations to get over Parliament. Uh, but certainly they do want accountability over here. We've seen uh, high-level visits uh, in the recent past, and the FBI di director will be coming the coming week uh, to India. The, although this was a pre-scheduled visit, a planned visit, a final visit, that's the Deputy National Security Advisor, uh, we do know that the conversation about this assassination plot will uh, be a part of the uh, discussions that take place between the FBI director and his counterparts and as a, other officials he's going to meet. So, uh, again, uh, when it comes to diplomatic ties, that certainly has not taken a massive hit, uh, given that the mm -hmm. responses that are coming from India, uh, from the U.S. is that India remains and continues to remain uh, a strategic partner of the country. But this certainly is going to be one of those uh, cases and incidents that will have to be probed uh, very, very uh, uh, deeply. And as also, uh, it, uh, the, the indictment polemy uh, does not just speak of, uh, of uh, the Gurpatwan Singh uh, Panoon's assassination plot, but also uh, of major killing. So we will have to wait and see how this really pans out for India-U.S. relations is also India-Canada. Right. Gita, thank you so much for joining us with those details. Now, the director of the U.S. Federal Bureau of Investigation, Christopher Rai, is headed to India with a team of legal and security analysts after U.S. claimed to have busted a plot to assassinate a U.S.-based lawyer of Indian origin with the arrest of an Indian official, an Indian national, I beg your pardon, an alleged drug trafficker. Nikhil Gupta. Now, this is the first time in the past 12 years that the FBI director is coming to India. But will the U.S. take action against Panoon? And what evidence will India submit? Keita Mohan reports. India's most wanted terrorist and Khalistan backer, Gurpatwan Singh Pannu, threatening to target the Indian parliament. On the anniversary of an earlier attack on Parliament on December 13, more than two decades ago. This is not the first time that Pannu, a US based lawyer and Khalistan terror backer, has threatened to target India. He had earlier issued a threat to target Air India aircraft, warning passengers in the US and Canada not to fly Air India after the 19th of November if they valued their lives. But is this free speech, threatening the temple of Indian democracy or threatening passengers of Air India, alleging their lives would be in danger? These are some of the questions that India intends to put to the director of U.S. Federal Bureau of Investigation, 
Christopher A. Ray when he visits India for the first time since taking over the Bureau in 2017. This is also the first time that an FBI director is visiting India in the past 12 years. I got to understand India. And so to me, that professionally is so exciting because, you know, our, our Secretary of Treasury, this was the number one country she went to outside the United States four times this year. Secretary of State just came here for the third time. Secretary of Defense for the second time. FBI director is here next week. You know, you, you name it every week. It's an exhausting job. The U.S. had, on the 29th of November, indicted an Indian national, Nikhil Gupta, in an alleged plot to murder Khalistan terror supporter Pannu in the United States. Biden administration officials say they are taking up the matter very seriously. We have um, noted at the most senior levels of this government, the Secretary of State has raised this directly with his foreign counterpart that we take this issue very seriously. They told us they would conduct an investigation. They have publicly announced an investigation and now we'll wait to see the results of the investigation, but it's something we take very seriously. However, India has repeatedly told the US it expects the United States to take action against terrorists and gangsters in the US while promising to investigate the issue raised by the State Department. That in so far as the US is concerned, certain inputs were given to us as part of our security cooperation with the United States. Those inputs were of concern to us because they related to the nexus of organized crime, trafficking, uh, and other matters. So, because it has a bearing on our own national security, it was decided to <coughs> institute an inquiry into the matter, and an inquiry committee has been constituted. India is keeping its powder dry to expose U.S. double standards in dealing with elements like Pannu, who use American soil to target India unchecked. Bureau reports India today. And make sure they decide about their future.